Hey, what's going on, y'all? RJ here with CV Tech, and today I want to give my final review on the LG Fiesta LTE. Now, this is on Simple Mobile, and I gotta say, first of all, this has been a great device and a great experience with this phone. And I'm gonna try to get into everything with this device in this review that I can think of. Now, I do apologize once again for my lighting. I know it's not the greatest in the world but I'll do what I can. So we're going to take you on the phone first here a little bit and just show you a little bit around it. Now up top here, you do have your front facing camera, your receiver, your front facing flash, which is really nice to see. On the left here, you have your volume rocker, your SIM and SD card slot down here. On the bottom, micro USB charging port, headset jack, and microphone. On the right is your power button there. On top is your secondary microphone there. Now on the back, you have your camera, your flash, your typical track phone uh, emblem there, LG Brandon, and of course your single rear speaker. And this speaker actually don't sound too awful bad. It's louder than most LGs that I have seen. Now the battery is internal and the back is not replaceable. This has a, this has a 4500 milliamp hour battery and the battery is very strong in this device. Uh, it's got a 5.5 inch display and so let's go ahead and get into the phone here and the phone just works really well um, with the processor that it's running let's go here to CPU-Z and just kind of look around over here a little bit now you'll see that this phone here runs the 1.4 gigahertz uh, quad-core 425 uh, which is really strong in this device in my personal opinion uh, it's a quad-core processor 308 GPU over here you see it's got a 5.5 inch display 1280 by 720 270 pixels per inch it has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM 16 gigabytes of onboard storage with around 10.1 out of the box so it's not too awful bad uh, it does take an SD card and all of that cool stuff now of course we'll pull the drop down here and I am currently you'll see there connected to Wi-Fi calling because I have no coverage which is why I am very disappointed to say this phone will be returned and I will be canceling service this month with Simple Mobile because of no coverage in my immediate area uh, but drop down here well <laughs> got your uh, Bluetooth flashlight there of course a uh, hotspot rotation location comfort view color inversion battery saver uh, all that stuff that you normally see uh, on every phone uh, like this here. Uh, let's go into settings here. And I, I just really like the layout of this phone. It's just a really, really nice phone. And of course, you got call there. You have voice over LTE, call blocking and decline with message, Wi Fi calling, and more. You got the incoming voice call pop up, all this stuff here, gestures. Silence income and calls by flipping it over. Uh, fixed dialing numbers, caller ID, call duration, sound setting. Now for display, um, you have your comfort view, brightness, all that stuff. Screen timeout, home touch buttons. You can you can change the combination and add things or take things away. Uh, you got color of white and black. Display size, you can choose if you want them smaller or bigger and all that cool stuff knock on knock off feature you can turn it on or off which is a really nice feature I said home screen uh, right now I'm actually using the nougat launcher that it says right there Some storage like I said has 16 gigabytes of internal storage got 6.21 available after downloading all these apps and stuff so we'll scroll on down here got security location Accessibility about phone. Now this phone does run 7.0 Nougat. So it's running close to the latest version of Android um, and everything else. And this phone works and runs very smoothly. Now let's go on over here. I kind of wanted to show you some of the scores that I did get like on Geekbench. Got a score of 640 single core score, 1722 multi core score. Nothing that's, you know, very powerful, but it works this phone very well. Now, going to the dialer here, 
uh, go to dial it's just your standard LG dialer that you see on a, you know a lot of phones uh, go into messaging here and I have Gboard because Gboard is the best in my personal opinion got this really nice dark black layout that looks really good of course here is all your emojis and stuff like that now of course if you use the standard uh, LG keyboard the emojis do look different but I'm gonna leave it here on the Gboard just for right now now go into the camera right quick like it's got a 13 megapixel camera on the rear and a 5 megapixel camera in the front now the camera is nothing to really brag about you know even though it does have a 13 megapixel camera in the rear it's really not much better than the like the LG X power with an 8 megapixel camera um, but it does the job uh, front facing camera uh, looks pretty good and even in lower lighting it does a pretty good job so while we're here we're going to look here you'll see different film and different things you can do with that going to settings here you have 5 megapixel 3.7 megapixel and 3 by 7 1 by 1 video resolution is full HD and 720p HD you got HDR mode uh, auto on or off you have timer, cheese shutter, a selfie shot, which is like a gesture shot, gesture view, save as flipped, and simple view there. Pretty much it. And right here is like your beauty thing right here that, you know, you can use if you wish. Go to the rear camera. Go into settings. Uh, 13 megapixel, 4.9 megapixel, 9.7 megapixel, 16 by 9, 3 by 7, 9 by 7, 1 by 1, and 2.1, 1 by 1 there as well. And of course, resolution for video was full HD or HD, HDR, timer, cheese shutter, stuff like that, grid, pretty much simple stuff. And that's really about all there is. Like I said, uh, front facing, there is your flash and it's very bright. So expect to see, expect to see a uh, flash in your eyes for a few minutes after you take a selfie. Now, how is call quality? Uh, call quality is very strong on this device it's very clear uh, connectivity is really good as well unfortunately I can't really test it out here because I have no coverage but when I'm out and about I get good strong 4G LTE I get good strong uh, connection and everything is all good it's always good but the phone is relatively smooth I've not had one hiccup not one lag not one freeze for I mean the Snapdragon 425 is a very nice and powerful processor regardless of what anybody says if this had two gigabytes of ram it would just be that much better but at 1.5 gigabytes of ram it holds its own pretty well there's nothing really to complain about i mean it's just very smooth i've played several games on it and i had any issues and i gotta say it's a great phone i mean it just works very well i mean it's basic it's simple 5.5 inch 720p display uh, a big 4500 milliamp hour battery that lasts a long long time I mean I got like 41 hours on battery with like eight hours of screen on time yes it wasn't very heavily used but still 41 hours and eight hours of screen on time that's pretty impressive and there's really no other way to say it but that's impressive <laughs> so really what do i have to say about the uh, lg fiesta lte it's a definite get uh i would not hesitate one bit to recommend this phone to anybody uh i would say it's weeks i would say that it's weak points are probably the camera is just not the greatest i have seen better cameras on phones you know 13 megapixel does not always mean it's going to be a fantastic camera but it does do good in good lighting. It's just in lower light and you're going to see, you know, some grain and a loss of a lot of detail, stuff like that. The front flash, even in pitch black dark, will light your world up. Uh, you can see everything and you'll have no trouble seeing yourself with the selfie light on the front. But, you know, it does not have a fingerprint reader, nothing like that, you know, but it does have a lot of, a lot of cool features. And it's a basic phone, but it's a great phone and you know this was this wasn't really much of a review this was just basically me telling you what i think of the lg fiesta lte and how i highly highly recommend it 
and I wouldn't, you know, you know that that's just my personal opinion. It's one of the best phones I have purchased in quite some time. However, I am going to return it because Simple Mobile just simply don't have any coverage in my media area, so there's really no need to keep it right now unless they do bump up the service in my area. Then I will definitely pick this phone up again uh, because it's just that nice. And uh, coming from me, who is not a real big LG fan, that's saying a whole lot. So call coverage, our call quality is good. Uh, reception is strong. Speakerphone is decent, not the best. Um, like I said, the rear speaker is better than some older speakers that I've seen. But it's still not mind blowing, and it still ain't the loudest like you know I've seen on other devices. But it gets the job done. So instead of keeping on with this video here, um, you pretty much got the point that I highly recommend it. So yeah, that's just my thoughts and my review here of the LG Fiesta LTE. This was helpful and informative in any way. Hit that like button; I'd really appreciate it. Any questions or comments, leave it down below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video.